Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass through specific objects and other at a given time. And so what I mean by that is let's say you have a force field and let's say some people can go through that force field and other people cannot, right? So first things first, we need to set up our force field. So I'm going to go do that here. I'm just going to make a block here. Make an actor. We'll call this force field like so. And we're just going to simply drag that up here. Okay, let's go add in a cube to this. And we can just add in a cube. And for this, what we'll do is we'll actually uh, scale, not the z-axis, but perhaps the y-axis. Yes, we'll scale the y-axis down. So it's more like a block here, okay? Now we need to go and make, um, yeah, as you can see here, this works out really well. And, you know, if you really want to make it a force field, we can kind of do that here. So we might as well make it something like this and doesn't really matter what it is. It's something like that here. So what we need to do is obviously make this translucent, maybe scale it up in a way that, there we go, there we go, something like this, and perfect. Okay, so, so there we go. We got our force field here. Let's go ahead and let's create a new material, and we'll call this force field material. And there you go. So let's take a look at this here. And let's hop into our blend mode and make it translucent, okay? And what we'll do is we'll add in a constant three vector here. And we'll make this a nice blue color. All right. And we'll drag that over here. And our opacity now, we can just make a simple constant, just like that here. And we'll drag in the opacity here. And what we'll do is we'll make the opacity 0. 6. Okay. And it'll take a couple times for it to render. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So now that I have this going here, you can see that, well, it is now transparent. So let's hop back into the force field and we'll type in force field material. And there you go. It might take a couple extra seconds for it to render here. And it looks like that's the case. But once we get that done, you'll see that this is completely transparent. All right. So we'll take it for a couple seconds. And once that does pop up, you can see here that we now have the, well, the force field here, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to, well, we can do a couple things. We can, uh, for example, change the color of the mannequin here, and we can maybe make this pass through. So first things first is let's see if we can make the mannequin pass through this force field, and then we'll... we'll pretty everything up okay so in order to do that let's hop into our blueprints here let's go to our character here and this is actually really easy to do and let's go ahead let's set up the logic first and we'll say set collision enabled okay at the target here is we don't want this to be the mesh we want it to be something else here okay so in order to do that um, we need to um, cast to force field, okay? And let's go ahead, let's do that here, and we'll say as, um, or we can actually just say mesh here, and then we can get the static mesh of the cube, uh, and just the, the cube here, and then we'll go ahead and put the target in here, okay? So as you can see, we now have uh, this here. Now what we can do is we can, for example, just add in a key board one. We'll say when, when, when the one, um, we can set, set this here. Now if we compile this here, it says the force field uh, doesn't really have, um, uh, you know, it, it doesn't have a wild, uh, a wild card there. Now um, 
what we so there there's actually a, another easier way to do this and um and the way to do that is to get actor of class okay which actor do we want we want the force field all right let's go ahead and let's just push that here and then we want to hook that up here and then we want to return the mesh here of the static cube okay and we just basically get the mesh and plug it in here. Okay, let's compile that here and looks like everything's good. So let's just go ahead and let's actually print string here. And, um, you know, it will just say hello. If we push one, okay, good. And then look at that. We can now pass through the force field. Okay, now we can actually do, um, we can actually do uh, uh, something that's a, a, a little bit more interesting here. If we add in a flip, flop, right, um, what we can do is push control W and copy this out. And we can say that this is um, collisions enabled. Okay. And the target, of course, has to be the cube, right, because we are targeting the cube. So if we do this here, push one, you can pass through. And then if we push one again, you can see that the collision is now there. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so that's basically what we're, we're, we're trying to do here. So we have the collision enabled and then the collision not enabled. So let's go ahead and um, and and basically that's what you, you'd want to do uh, if you, that's what you'd want to do if you wanted to enable or disable the force field. All right, so there we go. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.